Hi and welcome to lesson 14. I'm Tim Aubrey from DMAD Marine Mammals Research Association and today's lesson we're going to be looking at how we can use the snap feature so that we don't end up with slithers and overlaps in our polygon data. Please remember to keep liking, subscribing and most importantly sharing these videos so that we can reach as many people during this difficult time. Okay, today I'm going to talk to you through a common problem that which we have when we're working with shapefiles and polygon data. And we discussed it in one of the theory lectures earlier on, but I'm going to run through it again. So imagine I want to digitize this wetland around the lake that I created in the last lesson. Um, I do it in exactly the same way as before. I go to layer, create layer, new shapefile layer. I'm just running through this very quickly because we've done it an awful lot of times and I'm just going to call it wetland, click save, change it to a polygon and then click OK. And just like before I go up to the digitizing toolbar, click edit and then click add polygon and you'll notice And you'll notice that as I come to try and trace this, I'm just going to do it quickly to sort of show you guys, but I'm tracing my polygon, which is great. And I'm just going to come across and skip the last bottom bit of the wetlands. And I come round and finish my trace there, and I'll call it one. And it doesn't look too bad. However, as soon as we zoom in, and I imagine a few of you have had this problem before, you'll notice that there's little slithers and overlaps in our data, which honestly, obviously aren't ideal. So I'm just going to remove that layer. In fact, I won't remove it. I'll just get rid of that data entry. Um, so I clicked remove, it asked if I wanted to save the changes to my edits. I didn't want to save the changes. So you could have done that by clicking toggle editing to turn toggle editing off and it'd ask you if you wanted to save and you just say no. So I'm going to create this again, but this time before I do it, I'm going to go project and this time I'm going to go into snapping options. So that was project in the top left corner and then snapping options. And I'm just going to turn snapping on, enable snapping using this magnet. You can also press S at any point and I'm just going to turn snapping on intersection on. So here we go. And you'll see that this time I can, as I go to trace the edge of my polygon, I get these helpful pink circles. If you've noticed these crosses that just popped up before, that's just when your polygon, the edge of your polygon crosses on itself. Um, and it's normally because you haven't finished drawing all of your polygon. Oh, I skipped one there. Never mind. You understand the point. Um, and we'll see this time when we go to look at our digitized wetlands. So just right click to finish as always. ID 1. That when we zoom in, we should have a perfect line. And we won't have any of the, yeah, you can see we've got no slithers, no overlaps. And this is really how we want to be editing data. So all we do is go to project, snapping options, and we can use this to turn it on or off. Making sure to click on snap on intersection, because each of these are an intersection within the line. Um, and you can see there how the snap tools can be really useful for digitizing data properly. We don't want... Uh, any overlaps or slithers in our data really because it's going to give us inaccurate calculations when we begin to start to look at area and things. Okay, that's it for this lesson. Thanks.